Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. I'm here with my iPhone 4 running uh, iOS 4.1, as you can see. And I just want to give you uh, a little video review of what you can expect when you get this running on your device. So, the first thing that you'll notice, carrier settings have been updated at least for AT&T to AT&T 8.0. Now, what does that actually mean? We really don't know as consumers. Frankly, it's going to be uh, AT&T and Apple working together to get some better performance out of their data network as well as some stability with their calling network as well. So that's basically what that is. Uh, but this is 4.1. This is the Gold Master, which will be released to the public pretty shortly. So let's go over some of the bug fixes first of all. If you're on an iPhone 3G, performance has been greatly improved. A lot of the issues that you had with the device locking up and freezing has been resolved. Maps is significantly faster. Browsing and messaging is a little bit quicker. Uh, so it's not as good as 3.xx whatever uh, those last versions were. But it is much improved over iOS 4.0. Also, that nasty proximity sensor issue which we've had. This has caused me to drop calls by accidentally clicking end with my cheek. It's also caused me to have the person manually drop the call because I accidentally clicked mute. They stopped being able to hear me. I didn't realize. And we lost the call. And another thing, Bluetooth playback. It now supports AVRCP which gives you more audio control via Bluetooth so you can skip fast forward, adjust the volume all over Bluetooth. So I guess the first thing I want to show you is Game Center. Now I showed you Game Center a long time ago. If you remember my video on iOS uh, 4.0 beta, I showed you Game Center. Uh, so when you first log in, you have your account and you have a status. So just like Facebook, Twitter, you can adjust your status. And then you have your friends, your games, and your achievements. Uh, so then, friend requests are pretty easy to deal with. So, I have some friend requests here from that previous thing. You can report a problem, ignore them, or accept. So I went ahead and accepted. Uh, so we can accept somebody else, too. So we accepted those two. So now in my friends list, I should have uh, those two people. Uh, this, this hasn't gone live yet, um, so it will obviously be more useful in the future. Another sort of weird thing I found is uh, Find More Game Center Games just launches apple.com slash iTunes in the browser. So I'm hoping that that actually becomes populated with games. So you can see, like we saw Angry Birds demo that would work with this. There's fighting game demos. Um, so hopefully that all works better um, when, this, when this launches for the public and there are actually games to download and to take advantage of Game Center. So the next thing, we have... Uh, is HD video uploading. So let's just go to the camera and I'll show you here. Uh, so as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and open up the camera. And let's just pull up a phone, whatever we've got here. And let's just record a quick profile of the, what is this, the Droid 2? Whatever, fine. So then we can get those out of here. And if we launch that, when we go ahead and go to share, we can go to send to YouTube. And as you can see, we have a standard def version, which is going to be 519 kilobytes, or we can upload in HD 720p for 1.6 megabytes. Uh, you can only upload in HD over Wi-Fi, but it allows you to take advantage of the iPhone 4's improved camera system and upload 720p videos that either are raw, like this, or edited in iMovie. So, let's just go back to pictures for a second. Um, so we'll switch back. One of the bigger improvements has been HDR photography. And you have a little thing here. Again, the improvements, our uh, landscape interface has been improved, so it's much easier to use, so you can easily switch cameras. So now you can see that. In case you were curious, you don't have an HDR mode for that front, so you switch back now. And now you can adjust the flash, again, same as before. Let's just choose auto, and HDR on or off. I'm going to choose on. And in the settings, it'll save an HDR picture and a normal image, and then you can also change it to just take the HDR. So, let's go ahead and shoot this. 
So now it'll save the HDR. It takes a little time to process. And again, high dynamic range photography. Basically, it takes a picture at normal exposure, a picture at high exposure, and a picture at low exposure, and then uses an algorithm to mash them together to create better looking pictures. So here um, is the normal one, and here's the non, the HDR version. If we go back, here is HDR. It's kind of hard to see on camera, and here's regular. So let's just take one more, I guess, just to show you. Um, I have a ball here. Just take a picture of that, I guess. I'll do a little bit higher up so we can maybe get some more stuff in the picture, in the frame. See if that'll help it. So here's normal, and here's the HDR. Everything's a little bit crisper in the HDR. Um, so it really is a good, is a nice improvement if you're uh, just a regular photographer. Just you just want to take some quick pictures, just quick images. This will be a really nice improvement. Some people don't like HDR; it's kind of novel to them. Uh, to pro photographers, but I think it really is nice, especially on a mobile phone, to get some better pictures and to ensure that, you know, it may look a little bit vivid and a little bit more rich than it did in reality, but at least you'll have a nice picture. And of course, it'll automatically save a regular and an HDR, so if you like the regular for some reason, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, now, FaceTime has been improved as well. Obviously, now the iPod Touch has FaceTime, so now there's email-based FaceTime associations that you can make. And you can also save FaceTime numbers or email addresses as favorites. And just like the interface for taking pictures was improved in landscape, the FaceTime interface has been improved in landscape as well. So let's just look at iTunes now. Um, so the first thing that we want to show you is ping. I have not set up ping yet, to be honest, because I don't feel like I need another social network. But right from here, once you activate ping, you can look at your friends, you can follow new people, you can post comments, and do all that stuff. And also, if you look at videos, this is not exclusive to uh, the iPhone or whatever. But you can go in, and you can buy the season, or you can double-click on it. And as you can see, there's an option to rent. Now, when you're renting, if you run on your computer, you'll get the HD version. If you run on the Apple TV, you get the HD version. If you rent on the iPhone or iPod Touch, you'll get the standard def version. And if you purchase, you'll be able to get the SD version on your phone and then download the high definition version on your Mac. So if you want to rent and just when you want to see it in HD, then maybe the Apple TV or just buying it on your Mac or PC is better for you. And the last thing I just want to show you is some additions to the settings. So let's look at general and restrictions. So you can enable restrictions, uh, which would basically put a password on here. So a lot of people have iPod Touches for their children, but maybe they don't want FaceTime. That's a big one. So you can turn FaceTime on or off. And Game Center, you can also turn off multiplayer games. So if you don't want your son or daughter to be playing games and chatting with people from across the world that they don't know, strangers, pedophiles, creepers, whatever, you can turn that off. And finally, on keyboards, not international, in keyboards, you can turn off check spelling. So we could always turn off auto capitalization, shortcut, caps lock, international keyboard, etc., etc. Uh, but now if you frequently use... Uh, you know, abbreviations. I'm not, I don't use a lot of abbreviations, especially because I'm sending a lot of emails from this phone. But a lot of people that are heavy textures, they may use their own abbreviations that aren't, you know, widely accepted. Turn check spelling off, and then you won't get those nasty red lines. In fact, you can also turn auto correct, or correct, excuse me, that's just a little allusion to my poor pronunciation of auto correct, correct, in, um, in a previous video that I'm sure you've commented on. So, that is my review of iOS. 4.1. Really, there's a lot of improvements in here. There's not really a reason not to update it. It improves performance across the board for the 3G. And to be honest, people don't talk about it, but I found this to be a little bit snappier than 4.0 that was running previously on my iPhone 4. It includes HD video uploading, which is a huge thing, and Game Center has finally been implemented after we saw it with uh, the betas of 4.0. Uh, a few months ago. So, I'm Michael Sherlock from MichaelSherlock.com. iOS 4.1 is a worthy upgrade. Thanks for watching. What's your favorite feature of this new operating system? And have a nice day.